Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. So welcome to our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are covering the syllabus of UPSC Civil Services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So friends, currently we have 12 series that focus on your prelims and one series that target your mains. So what we do in these prelims oriented series, we have basically divided your whole syllabus into 12 large subtopics and we daily cover two subtopics and in this manner, in 6 days, we cover all the 12 subtopics and this process goes on and on in a cyclic manner and we will end this process only uh, uh, one day before your prelims exam that is on 31st May. So your prelims was in, uh, is on 2nd June and we will end this series only one day before your prelims exam that is on 31st May. So let's start our discussion. So today is, uh, we will be covering lecture number 6 of science and technology. The first question is development defects and diseases are increasingly becoming the focus of government health policies. Given below are some of these diseases which of the following is are caused by genetic disorders first Turner syndrome second Down syndrome third Landers mutadrome so we have to choose that uh, uh, which of the above is uh, associated with genetic disorders let me tell you friends that uh, one and two are basically the genetic disorders so the solution is B so regarding explanation friends uh, if you want the explanation of these PDFs then you can contact us at this number because uh, uh, this email ID that is gys21 at gmail.com or at this contact number 89684264814 so the explanation complete explanation that what is Turner syndrome what is Down syndrome uh, that is available in our explanation PDFs uh, which which are available only to our subscribers so in case you want to subscribe you can contact us there will be a minimum certain cost for this subscription but it has been kept as minimum as possible for the purpose of your affordability as well as for the purpose of our motivation so let's see what, what is the next option uh, next question so the, I, as I have told you the answer of this question is B let's move on to the second question second question is the replacement of CFLs with LED lights is likely to be ecologically beneficial because CFLs contain this element and LEDs do not so here it is it has been asked that uh, which about which element we are talking about a mercury B lead C nickel D copper so the answer is mercury because mercury is found in CFLs and not in uh, LEDs so the answer is A so solution is A let's move on to the next question uh, third question is the absorptive uh, the terms absorptive capacity and carrying capacity are used in the discourse of A evolutionary biology B geographical determinism C employment elasticity D sustainable development let me tell you friends the answer is D that is sustainable development so this absorptive capacity is basically the capacity of the ecosystem to absorb the uh, the exploitation of resources and carrying capacity is also its ability to to uh, bear this uh, consumption of resources so that it can regenerate those resources so that's why only the uh, uh, only due to this process of carrying capacity uh, the life uh, on earth uh, remains sustainable so the answer is sustainable development solution is D let's move on to the next uh, question fourth is in vitro fertilization is similar to first test tube baby program second surrogacy third rever reverse sterilization so we have to choose the correct answer let me tell you friends that the answer is only one that is test tube baby program so in vitro fertilization is associated with test tube uh, test tube baby program the solution is a let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following about Indian systems of medicine so we have to consider Indian systems of medicine first it includes Ayurved Siddh and Yunani systems among others second all the systems have developed indigenously in India third this these systems have not been uh, given official uh, recognition for lack of authoritative material so we have to choose the correct answer let me tell you friend that only uh, first is correct because second is not correct there are certain systems like Yunani which is not developed in India but it has been uh, it, though it has been incorporated into Indian system of medicines regarding third statement also friends this is incorrect because we have a dedicated ministry uh, of a use so department of a use that focus on the, on this uh, Indian system of medicine so only one is correct and that is uh, C that is an answer is C let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following about Brahmo's missile first it can be fired from land sea and air second it is supersonic cruise missile third it uses atmospheric oxygen as a fuel fourth it was inducted in Indian armed forces recently only after India became a member of missile technology control regime let me tell you friends that the answer is one and two only so it is basically a supersonic cruise missile 
uh, which which can achieve a maximum speed of 3 mac and uh, it can be fired both uh, uh, from all the land sea and the air so this brahmos missile uh, is it is it was it was jointly developed by india and russia so it is a two stage uh, missile and uh, one stage uh, is of uh, solid propellant and one stage is of liquid propellant uh, uh, so ra ramjet liquid propellant so the answer is one and two only so the solution is c let's move on to the next question next question is consider the following statements first this planet is known as one of the ice giants second it rotates on its axis in a direction opposite to that of earth third the planet hosts natural satellites so here we have been asked that the above refers to so let me tell you friends that the answer is c uranus so uranus has natural satellites also and it is one uh, it is one of the uh, ice giants uh, neptune is also a ice giant there are two ice giants in india in 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 solar system that is uh, neptune and uranus and only there are two planets that revolve opposite to that of earth and these are venus and uh, uranus but venus do not, doesn't have natural satellite and it is not ice giant so the answer is c that is solution is c let's move on to the next question eighth question is apart from hiv aids diseases can be transmitted by sharing using needles r first diarrhea second chikungunya third hepatitis b uh, c so we have to choose the correct answer let me tell you friends uh, that uh, uh, the that, uh, that diseases that can be transmitted by using needles uh, are are aids or or for that matter hepatitis hepatitis b or c so the answer would be third only so the answer is c uh, solution is C. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is the stone attached to a spring balance will be observed as weightless when first the spring balance is kept in a satellite revolving around earth, second the spring balance is falling freely, third the spring balance is taken to tro uh, taken at tropopause. Let me tell you friends that only first two statements are correct. There is uh, no uh, relation between third statement and this weightlessness. Uh, it is an abs absurd statement. So the answer is one and two only. A is uh, the answer. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is normal cells show a property called contact inhibition this property is helpful in regulating a uncontrolled growth of cells b amount of energy entering and leaving the cells c storage of fat component for emergency situations d all of the above so let me tell you friends that the answer is uh, this uh, this uh, contact inhibition property is uh, basically it controls the uncontrolled growth of cells so when cells can come in close contact with each other so they have the tendency to multiply but this contact inhibition uh, property it helps to uh, to to control the uncontrolled growth of cells so the uh, when 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 uh, in case of uh, uh, cancer uh, can cancer patients there is uncontrolled growth of cells which which develops into a tumor uh, so this property is a it, this property is a is a anti anti cancer property so the a is the answer so this is all about friends today's lecture so if you like the questions if you like the video then do hit a like and do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications relating to our updates that we do on our channel and lastly if you want to subscribe to the pdfs you can email us at this email number uh, email id hyes21 at the rate gmail.com or at this contact number that is 896 uh, 8968426481 so this is all about friends uh, today's lecture thank you have a very nice day thank you very